another working hypothesis as to uh, how the cell phone could have been there. That, that's all this is. This isn't, well, okay, I know he did this. Because, first of all, I myself would have went down the M-Cave route, searched up here, done this, done that, just like people did. Okay, so that's one working hypothesis, that he was on this route going to the M-Cave on his final hike. Okay, but now consider this. What if he wasn't? What, what if he wasn't? I drew in some lines, just a rough idea to show the concept that he could have worked up and, you know, he could have explored his way up, <clears throat> but he could have be lined up. He could have be lined up to Tomahawk uh, and Warbonnet Canyon. He, he had come down that way, likely. There's the mine. And there's this beautiful thing here that he uh, he could have went up here and here. He he could have branched out, like everybody says. That doesn't necessarily mean here because this was pretty nasty. Even if he went there, that it's possible on his hike he never went dropped down from the saddle, which is a big decision to make uh, to do that. You saw him on his videos. I just came down to this hellacious area. Well, he's. Is he really going to keep going over and over and over down the same, uh, the same ravine for nothing? I think uh, the chances are, or let's consider it as a hypothesis, that he, he did go up. He, he would have been up this high where I drew the white line uh, because that's pretty steep to be going along the side of the hill there. But suppose he did be lined to his beloved cell phone mine kind of as a home base. Okay, now it's um, getting into the afternoon and he goes right up here. For that one alone, he would have to uh, construct a travoy to bring out the tons of war bonnets, tomahawks. Indians actually didn't lay down here in the open sun baking alive. But they didn't go way up into the tippy tops of the mountains. What they would do is go up into convenient ravines uh, for the shade. And so here's Agave Pip 2, a, a huge uh, spot. And right here where they did uh, what I believe was the pinion nuts. That's what I think that pit is. And so this, this is a big area here. But up in here, there could easily have been water or to sleep uh, in, in shade during the day. Normally during the day, a lot of times they would just sleep, you know, sleep in the gravel. So here you've got these these two great things here. Look at that. He could have been working these, and even if he did leave the cell phone, he would think, well, I'll get it on the way down. You know, I'm going to come back and spend the night, whatever. That's a possible scenario that even if he didn't leave it intentionally and he dropped it, he, he knew he would just go back to it. So if something occurred in here or up in here, well then obviously he wouldn't have made it back to the, the cell phone. But even if it was dropped, the chances are he spent the night here and was using this as a home base uh, to, to work these. After all, he did say, I find arrowheads, I come back, my pack is always more full. Uh, than when I started out. So he did collect things and he had a lot of stuff that he didn't show on that camera such as arrowheads and stuff like that. Well that's where he was getting them, areas like this. So anyway, it's kind of a, a hypothesis. There would be very good reason for him to have went up and possibly never went below. Never dropped down below at all. He was done with the MK, he made his video to go down into this torturous hellhole, why would he keep doing it over and over and over? What, to go up here and look for M caves? He could have. Sure, he could have. I'm not saying it's impossible. But now I'm starting to have a funny feeling that this was actually his home base, where he messed around and uh, maybe spent the night. 
And if something happened up here, he wouldn't have come down here. Like working down, he wouldn't have come down here and then went back for the cell phone. But if it happened in here, uh, in these amazing areas, that would explain why the cell phone could be there if it was left on the way down, not the way up. But I, I seriously doubt now that he even did drop below Wild Horse Saddle and gone into this hellhole of, of nothing down in here and go on and go on and go on. No, he, there's, there'd be no reason, especially knowing that this was a top Indian area with the agave pit right there, to not be exploring and going up into there.